Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani working here as Functional Consultant. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about how to merge and split the asset lines in Oracle Fusion Asset. When we create an invoice for fixed asset in Payables, the number of lines in that invoice will be transferred as separate asset at the time of transferring into fixed asset. For example, we purchase laptop, mouse, and keyboard. For our organization, these all three are one asset. But when the vendor provide us the invoice, it provided us with three separate lines. So in this case, the system gives you an op option to use merge functionality so that you can merge the separate invoice lines into one asset. So this is the concept of merge asset lines. Now we will talk about split asset lines. When we create an invoice for fixed asset in papers with single invoice line, but we want to create separate asset lines, then we will use split functionality. So these are the steps that you have to follow for merge and split asset line as well. You have to first create an asset invoice in accounts payable. Then you have to create accounting for that invoice then transfer that invoice line to fixed asset, then run the job, create mass addition, then perform post mass addition. Now we will move to our application to see how we can merge and split the asset line. Go to navigator, then go to invoice workbench. From here you have to create an invoice for fixed asset, click on create invoice, give the supplier name here, expand the lines here. For transferring it to fixed asset, you have to select the account as asset clearing here. Click on OK. Now I'm creating the second line for this invoice. Again, you have to select asset clearing as account here. Now click on OK. For transferring it to fixed asset, you have to validate this invoice as well as you have to create an accounting for this invoice. You can see the status here coming as validated. Now click on post to ledger. You can see here that accounting is complete. Now click on OK. Click on save and close. Again, go to navigator. Now you have to run the job, create mass addition. Go to tools. Here you have to select the scheduled processes. Click on schedule new process. Click on search. Select the process, create mass addition and click on OK. Again, click on OK. Here you have to select the accounting date till which you want to create invoices to fixed asset. I am taking today's date. Now here you have to select the asset book. Now click on submit.
click on refresh icon you can see that this job is running here again click on refresh icon you can see the process is succeeded here now go to asset workbench you can see here the asset lines that we have created in tables are uh, shown here now these are two separate lines this system is taking it as it as two separate assets now we want to merge it to a single asset select one data then click on merge option select this data click on set parent now click on cancel all the lines selected for merge will be removed do you want to continue click on no now again click on the second data and click on merge option you can see here the system is asking whether you want to merge it with the single parent invoice now click on submit here the invoice line are merged click this data go to actions and click on add it you can see here the both the lines are merged in into single asset now queue status is on hold now change it to post fill the required detail here select the location distribution so we have filled the mandatory fields now click on save and close now you have to perform post mass addition you have to select this data and click on ready to post you can see asset additions were submitted now to see whether this invoice is posted as fixed asset or not we can go to our asset workbench and click on asset inquiry now you will see this invoice in recent additions you can see it here this is how we can merge the asset lines now we will see how to split the asset line again go to invoice workbench from there we have to create invoice with single line click on go to task list now click on create invoice expand the line here we will create the invoice only with single line and then we will split through asset workbench or you can say asset page select the distribution combination as asset clearing click on okay validate this invoice
you can see the status here as validated. Now we have to post this invoice to Ledger. Accounting is complete. Click on OK. Now click on Save and Close. Again, you have to run the process Create Mass Addition. So go to Scheduled Processes. Click on schedule new process. Click on search. Click this process and click on OK. Again, click on OK. Again, you have to select the accounting date till which you need to transfer all the invoices having asset clearing as account to transfer to fixed asset. Select the asset book here and click on submit. Click on refresh icon. You can see here the create mass addition process is succeeded. Go to asset workbench. You can see the invoice that we have created as, as asset is transferred here. Now how to split this? Select this invoice. Click on add it option. Change the queue status to post. You can see here the unit is taking it as one. Here you can uh, give the number of units into which you want to split this invoice. I'm selecting it as four. Select the location here. Click on OK. Now click on Save and Close. You can see the units is changed from 1 to 4. Select this data and now click on Split option. You can see the message here. The FT02 that is our invoice number source line will be split into 4 lines with 1 unit each. Do you want to continue? Click on Yes. You can see here the invoice amounted to rupees 2 lakh has been splitted into 4 units, 50,000 each. Now, select the data. And click on ready to post. Click on post all. You can see the asset additions were submitted. Now again, go to asset workbench and click on asset inquiry. You can see all these four splitted invoices has been transferred to fixed asset. This is how we can perform the merge and asset, merge asset lines and split asset lines in the Oracle Fusion application. Thank you so much for watching the video.